back to Midford Pottery. Tonight's challenge. We've got 2.2 kilograms of school buff eclair and we've had a request to see if we can make a large chip and dip bowl so we're going to give it a go so let's get onto the wheel no idea we're going on the fly so we'll get it centered first In. So I'm aiming for something the width of this bat, which is what's that across there? So we're looking at sort of 12, 30, about 14 inches across there. Something along them lines. Squash it out like a plate, raise the edge up. Hopefully leave it enough in the middle, we need a 10 centimetre dip holder in the middle. So here we go. Never thrown anything. A big issue for a walk. But we'll give it a go. issue I'm having at the minute, my clay is drying out too quick as I'm throwing it. Uh, I think that's pretty centre. So, how are we going to do this? We need, we need to go plate first. So that's a case of Squashing them down in it. Hopefully, not knocking them off centre. Takes a fair bit of effort with that lump of clear link. plan is to do is uh, going to leave something about that plan is to, to stretch this bit out. Now how we're going to do that. So we'll have to dig in. Like so. And then we're going to further out. Right. Need some. Need some wooden tools on the case. Dig in here. That's the plan is 
is to lift that edge last. So I suppose we better see how how thick we're dark there. So we'll go there. So it's not bad, about half inch. Do we go any more? I think we'll push it a bit there. We'll go a bit more. Plenty of water on. That looks okay. See, I've got enough there to lift that up. So we'll do the tricky bit in the middle next. Now I needed about 10 centimetres. So we're just on there. So now the tricky bit. I'm trying to I'm going to lift this. off in here. this in a bit first. Like so. so we got that. Get some of this water out of the way. So now gotta try and get an edge on here. So I'm going to just push. Oh, just got a bit too dry there. Put some water on the edge. And basically, we're going to lift this edge. dry naturally. So what we've got. So it's about a foot across. We have 10 centimetre in the middle. I'll see how much it shrinks and see what sort of jars you can stand in the middle but you can you can put your stuff in anyway. So there you go. Ok, 
here so we've got our chip and dip it is now dry and off the bat so we're going to just trim this edge smooth the bottom up a bit off where it's been cut so first of all we've got to centre it Pretty good, we'll need a bit of clay. So we'll do them in three places. Stick them on there. Like so. And we need what we're going to have, nice wire tools, we'll use a wire tool today. So we'll do the edge first. See if we can get this nice and flat. We're getting there, just that little bit here to do. I think that will do us. Settle this edge again. And then I know I don't normally do this, but I think we'll sponge or sponge this bottom surface off. Take it off there. Squeaky, squeaky. So we'll put uh, a need a stamp, don't we? Need the big stamp for this. I think we'll do it there because there's an edge in here, isn't there? So. We shall go up. We'll go like that. We'll go like that. Back on the wheel, and then again. 
again. Oh. Just uh, round that off where it was sitting. That is it. Take that off there. So that's it. Trimmed and ready to dry. See you when we decorate. Okay, welcome back. So we are chip and dip. It has been bisked successfully. We're now going to decorate, and you got to guess the theme. Hopefully, I won't mention it, but you got to guess the theme. So we'll get you down onto our prep so far. Which is this? Get this wire out of the way. There we go. So we're on the Giffen grip. Yeah. So centered on the Giffen grip. What I've done, I've marked out some bands, which is where we're going to have our colours. Colours. To match there and we're going to try our new we've got Amaco uh, velvet underglaze colours Let's see what effect we give them so each colour is going to have two coats and then it's going to be uh, clear glazed to finish so we'll open these up So that's good. It's got a little uh, foil. Never used these before. See what they're like. They're supposed to be very good. But we shall see how good's good. I need a cloth. And I need the brush. I'll have a brush, just a flat brush. So we'll start. On the inside. So we'll get it. Usually what I found the first coat with under glazes is basically the primer because the wear is so absorbent it's getting a good first coat on and letting it dry and then you get a better second coat as the work absorbs the paint or the glaze the paint the yeah, it's starting to take uh, the paint a bit better now. glaze keeps saying paint the glaze now what you have got to do with this you do have to let it dry properly between proper coats so we're going to see if we can get up to our line and then we'll let it dry. Once we get underway I'll speed the video up. Don't think we missed anything. So that's colour one. Can you tell what it is yet? Probably not. Next colour a red. Uh, the only problem with reds they tend to go pink. Get another brush. Gonna use plenty of brushes in this one. And while that's drying, we're gonna start our next colour.
type of brush. You need a flatter brush, I think, for this. That's dried now, so we'll start to apply a second coat. Right, we'll uh, we'll have a zoom in, and we'll speed up the next few colours, and I need to reset because I've got to go and wash some brushes. So we'll catch up in a second once we've had a quick. We'll let this dry and then we'll have a catch up. So, talk to you soon.
ready for a clear glaze. And that's our edge. Okay, <clears throat> back to our chip and dip. Uh, a little flourish for our decoration so we'll get the camera over we are using the sprayer and we've cut some little stencils out and I've just been letting it dry and we've just got to see what it looks like oh yes there you go there you go three paper tears They worked out quite well. Looks like a sad face actually. If you go that way and go that way, there you go. Okay, so that's it for that. So next clay glaze and the results. Welcome back to Mystery Pottery. Uh, this one's a kiln opening. First of all, we're going to do our chip and dip. I want to see what the outcome of that is, so we're going to lower the camera down. I'm going to open up. So, chip and dip. Let's get it in the kiln so we can see. There we are, chip and dip bowl. It's not not too bad. It's all glazed, so there you go, chip and dip bowl complete. So to finish this video, yeah, that is archery themed chip and dip bowl, and it's coming out all right. So I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.